In this video I'm going to share 5 causes why engine can throw the rod. Welcome to Piston Shack channel and uh, let's get started. Beautiful black Volvo V70 XC. We're, we're looking for the parts for our Volvo to fix and we found this beauty. Black and look some parts already were taken and this Volvo has relatively very very low mileage 126,000 miles as we know those Volvo engines with the proper maintenance and care they can run easily up to half a million kilometers okay guys this is the engine 2.4 turbocharged Volvo engine five cylinders and you see the hole in the block okay reason number one why engine can throw the rod is oil pressure you see this hole that's a result probably of the oil pressure issue okay there is a two subdivided causes uh, with the oil pressure that is not enough oil in the oil pan and a crankcase that can be the result and second thing is excessive high mileage engine wear that will lead to lower oil pressure enough to cause the rod bearing to spin inside the bearing cap on a crankshaft with a lack of lubrication that will create lots of heat when that happens rod will detach from the crankshaft and depends if it's upstroke downstroke it will collide it with the valves or like here we see bottom of the piston rod knock the chunk from the block of the engine and that's a finish could be a perfect vehicle for the engine swap reason number two is over revving the engine usually it won't happen because limit of the engine rev control by the ECU but we know people modify the engines and that can happen when you rev it too high over the limits that can stress out the parts too much and we can get this result as well with over pushing engine too far for too long that can happen specifically on a high performance vehicle third reason third cause of the engine throwing the rod is a you probably heard about it as engine dropped a valve yes valve failure broken intake or exhaust valve might drop into the cylinder piston bore and with that happen uh, you can imagine what could be and uh, yeah that piston will smash the valve and destroy everything and it could also break the piston and connecting rod and throw the piston and rod out As you can see I'm pulling a chunk of the engine block this is aluminum block that's <sighs> yeah that should stay there but we see it out reason number four that's fasteners like bolts and nuts that connecting rod bearings hardware that we know they highly torque nuts and bolts they secure the uh, cap and attach the uh, attach the rod to the crankshaft you see the uh, piston um, rod cap was smashed multiple times we see the um, sleeve is gone it was probably hit so many times at the highway speed and it's already rusted because it has been vehicle has been sitting for probably a couple months like this well that's a you know every time when you do the heads or do the crankshaft bolts and bearings you always use the new hardware and fifth reason that's wrong type of fuel using the wrong lubricants over boosting over tuning your engine that can be the cause as well Guys, if I missed anything, put it down in the comment section below. I would like to share what I know. And uh, yeah, if you like to support my small hobby YouTube channel, go watch more videos, consider to subscribe.
Stay safe. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.